Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the 700,000 person wait list for a lip peptide. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. Ladies, I wanna thank you before I start the video with all your support this year. I've been on YouTube for over 12 years. I upload Mondays and Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I have to tell you, your comments have really got me through the hard times and the tough times this year. I spend some times when I'm really not feeling that great and I read your comments and I just wanna let you know that I do see them and it means so much to me and your support of my cosmetic company is just incredible. I wanna take this time at the end of the year to let you know how much I really do care about you. I think you know that my channel is much more than just makeup and hair care and skincare, what have you. It goes deeper than that because we know it's an inside job, your beauty, your confidence. It's not about what you're putting on your face. It's about what's coming from within and that's why I'm here. I'm here to push you to the next level I'm here to really support you. I haven't mentioned my fierce aging in so long, but my fierce aging is coming back 2023. I thought it was gonna be back November, December. This is where I feature you on my channel, women from all over the world, just wait. I can't stress enough to be on the newsletter because that's where you're gonna hear everything first. So I always link my newsletter below my videos. We're gonna get into this video now. I just wanted to say thank you. We're gonna talk about Hailey Bieber and this Rode product that she brought out this past summer. So this is a lip peptide that had 700,000 people on the wait list. So I thought it was really interesting because she started her company in 2020, but she didn't launch until 2022 from what I read. I thought 700,000 people and she just launched like interesting. So I wasn't quite sure, but she was in Forbes 30 under 30. If you don't know who Haley Beaver is, her father is Stephen Baldwin. So he's brothers with Alec Baldwin and Billy Baldwin. So she's from a celebrity family already. She married Justin Bieber. So they're you know, in their late twenties, it's a very young crowd. So it's very reflective in her product, which is interesting. It's very minimalistic. I can't read the product because it's in such a light font. The packaging's like gray, grayish, and then it has, well, this is in white. This is actually easier to read. There's another one that's like in pink. Oh, I guess, cause this is the watermelon slice kind of flavor. This is unflavored or unscented. So I wasn't sure, I'm very big into lip treatments. I went from body shop in as a teenager with that peach little balm that they had, which I loved. Then I went to CarMax, which was a big mistake. Then I went to the Rosebud Salve that was in that little tin. And then I went to Lano Lips. And I've been with Lano Lips maybe six, seven, eight years or so, maybe 10 years now. And I love it. I cannot go to sleep without it on my lips. So I'm very well versed when it comes to lip treatments and balms and what have you. I've bought plenty. So I was very interested in this peptide. I think it's nice for like a topper. You know how I do like a little topper when I do my makeup. This is, it doesn't feel like it would be a treatment at night. So I kind of feel like this is her whole like glazed, she's known for her glazed donut nails. It's been really trendy. And then like her glazed lips. So you can see that it gives you this like really glossy look. I just don't know how it really over time with that feeling of it not leaving your lips like parched in the morning where it just like kind of all absorbs and then it goes and then there's nothing left. I don't love that. Lano lips never does that to me. So I thought that this was interesting. It's kind of rival it being a rival to Kylie Jenner's product line. So there's some drama in the beauty industry right now, the young beauty. Also, I bought this, the barrier restore cream. It says rich face concentrate. I use it in the makeup tutorial next and it's not rich, but I think maybe for 20 year olds, it's, <laughs> it's a rich cream, but for over 45, it's not rich. So this is $16. It, I think that it's nice if you're looking for something like during the day, you want that high gloss look and it doesn't feel like it goes everywhere. It's nice. It is actually nice. I was surprised. The watermelon doesn't scream watermelon and she has salted caramel. I'm not big into scents. You do smell the watermelon, but it's not overpowering, but that's why I did get the unscented also, which is perfect. But just so you know, I had to end the year with the most people on a wait list. I want to see the list. <laughs> I really do. I want to see it. Is it worth it? I think it is in a very small way of if you're looking for something to treat your lips, but I don't think it's a 700,000 person mind blowing product. Let's get into the video. All right, ladies, we're gonna make a beautiful look together today for the last makeup tutorial of the year. So I was thinking, of course, it's New Year's Eve tomorrow, so let's do something fun. I went and bought a new palette from Makeup by Mario. I haven't bought his palette before. I saw that the matte palette went viral and it sold out, it's out of stock. <laughs> So I thought, I don't want an all matte palette. 
I don't want 12 colors of an all matte palette. Let's explore the dance floor, ladies. Let's get out and dance on the dance floor. Let's not just wear mattes. So this is what this palette looks like. It is beautiful. I don't know. I've never used his shadows, so we'll see how they come out. I don't know if they're going to be too glittery. There are mattes and all different types. This is what I want. I don't use 12 eyeshadows. In my professional kit, would this be something I would want? Of course, because I'm working on so many different people. But for me, I like to keep it simple. I like three colors. I don't like 12. I don't like four. I don't like five. I like three. So we have a little bit of a variety today, and we are going to just hydrate our face. I'm going to use the road that I had purchased with the lip peptides. This is called rich face concentrate barrier restore restorative cream. So I'm going to try a little bit of this. I haven't researched deep, deep, but there's like some real concept with ingredients. It's a very, very light. I don't feel, I feel like it's great for the girls in their twenties. I don't feel like this is a great product line for mature women, but like hence she's in her 20s so of course she's going to make for her audience so that's great but like i would want something a little bit more moisture and feeling like just heavier even though it says it's rich we're going to go right into my eye primer this is what i use every single video for like the last 14 years on my eyelids this is going to neutralize out my eye you can see that it's going to be from the base of the lash all the way up to the brow bone work this in and you're going to have a really nice neutral eyelid so all these beautiful colors that you see in your eyeshadow palette are going to look true on your eye because you have primed your eye and it actually changed the color. Not the eye primers that you put on that are invisible. They're not doing anything for the redness, the darkness, the pigmentation. So you can see how dark, I think every time I do this, it gets darker. Could be just because it's the end of the year, but this is the first step. Eye primer is on now. I am going to figure out, I'm gonna take me like a second to figure out what I want to do. Like what? Okay. So I'm wearing this sequin jumpsuit. I think I want to make it, this is called ethereal palette. So of course that's what I want. I want to have this like gorgeous kind of sparkly, beautiful. I think we should do maybe these two matte colors and then pop it with this like silvery. I don't know how silver, but we'll see. And then maybe we'll do some liner with these darker ones here. We'll do like my little tricks. I'll pull out my tricks that we did all year together with the eyeliner, kind of lifting the eyes, maybe doing the powder liner first to give you that kind of beautiful, just soft liner. You don't always have to wear an eyeliner. If you are big into eyeliner or liquid liner, great. Then you can do what really makes you happy. I have clean brushes today, so I'm very excited. Let's just do an all over color. Let's like experiment because you know, when I did the Tom Ford, I really got excited and they had a lot of fallout. I don't see a lot of fallout with this palette loading it up just like this. So it seems going from the palette to the brush, it's going to be pigmented. Ooh, nice. It's very hard to get pigment when you have a really nice light color like that. I go to the middle of the eye. I just bring it down. So most of the color is right in the middle and then I'll just sweep it into the inner corner and then I'll sweep it out like this. So if you have too much, you can blend it. You can, you know, but I like not having starting here too much. Then it pulls down and then you have all this mess. You go to the middle and then I just work it down and I haven't really gone up. I'm kind of, I'm navigating I'm going, you know, slow because I want to see how his powders go on the eye. Really nice. They're made in the US. So I'm actually loving my first experience with this palette by Makeup by Mario. All right. So I just did like this buttercup color. It's very just neutral. I'm going to go into the taupey color here and I'm going to use my tapered blending brush and I'm going to go right up into this crease. I designed this to be more of like a pencil. So it's intentionally going right into this little spot here. Don't worry that it's come down again. I want you to always feel like you're experimenting. You can change its powder. Like this is not the end of the world. If you're like, Oh my gosh, what did I do? <laughs> Looks terrible. We can always go back in with our blending brush. And this is one of the brushes that come in my kit this year. I went from nine brushes to 10 brushes now, and this is a blending brush. So you can always blend it out. So you don't have to worry. It's like your eraser. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. So it is coming together. I'm going to just see what this looks like with these little sheen colors. I'm going to, let me just experiment on my hand first. Okay. So they are like micro glitters. Let's just go into this one right here. It's like the, not the lightest, not the darkest. Now you do get fallout with this. You got to be careful. I just want to see what happens. Ooh, 
Very pretty. Very pretty. I like it. And it's not too much. Like this can work for more mature women. So I'm excited about that because, you know, you go to Sephora and there's not too much when it comes to palettes that you can do that give you like the sheen and it's not like full on disco glitter. I mean, I love my jumpsuit. I just don't want to <laughs> look like my jumpsuit on my eyes. So I'm going to just keep working this in. I'm going to blend a little bit more. I'm going to just take the blending brush and I'm going to make sure that there's no like stop and start on the more of the taupey color. So it's going to all come together. Now I'm gonna go and do that powder eyeshadow liner. So this is going to be in those darker colors here, these browns. I'm gonna just mix them together. I don't think it really matters. There's one that's more of a sheen and then there's one that's more matte. I just wanna see, I'm hoping that this is going to be nice and pigmented so I don't have to work that hard. So what I do is I just go to the lash line and I build it up with the powder. So it's just like you're putting on your eyeliner. And it looks really beautiful, especially when you have kind of like this beautiful, just sheen to the eye. Now I can see all of this sheen all over my face. And by the way, it was just, I just touched my face here and it doesn't come off. So you have to be very careful if you use this and you don't want this glitter all over the place. This is not making me happy, but the look is making me happy. So I will take it. So I just finished up. I don't think I'm gonna do an eyeliner. I think that keeping it really light and really pretty, I'm gonna to try to use my all my makeup remover pads. These are oil-free. I don't know if this is going to take off this glitter completely. It seems to be wanting to stay on, <laughs> on my face. So I'm going to use my lash curler. You know, the only thing that really does bum me out about this palette is that this glitter, this micro glitter is on the face. I just can't believe it. I can't believe there's so much fallout of that. And then it stays on. So we'll just have to consider it as like a highlighter when it mixes in with the foundation. I'm gonna use my lash primer from L'Oreal and I'm going to use, I'm gonna be doing high low today. I'm gonna to be using my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Why not, right? So I'm gonna do this first. This is going to prime my lashes. This is going to lengthen them and make them fuller. Lash primer is on. I go right into the mascara after I put on the lash primer. I don't wait. It is kind of semi-dry. I don't want it to be dry because if it is dry, then it's harder to apply and I don't want it to get like that dry clumpy look. So I go right in, I go to the base of the lash and I just work right up. Now, if you really want that false eyelash look, this is the way to get it. You're going to see, I mean, just look at how it's just building and it's not getting clumpy. It's so beautiful. Mascara is on looking gorgeous. This is like such a great power duo. So now I'm gonna go into a little concealer. I bought something from Huda Beauty. It is the Faux Filter, hashtag Faux Filter Luminous Matte liquid concealer. This is in Yogurt Drops 1.5 B. She has a ton of colors. So I think that's why they didn't name them just normal names. It's like graham cracker and sugar cookie and marshmallow. <laughs> but this might be a little light for me. Um, we'll see. It's okay because I always take my foundation up over. So I'm not too worried, but I wanted to see how this kind of blended out on the skin. Lots of different options. So I like Anything that is like a faux filter on the skin, that makes me very happy, nicely blends and it doesn't feel heavy. So that's actually really good. I'm just concentrating really on that inner corner there because I think that this is a little bit more concentrated and I don't want too much of it because it is a little bit lighter for my skin, but not too much. You know, you can always like work around things if you get the wrong color. Now we're going to go in with La Mer foundation. I haven't brought this out all year. And the other day when I started talking about it, I was like, oh my gosh, why not? So I had told you I use a uh, 110 shell. This is a serum foundation, SPF 20. I fell in love with like years and years and years ago. It's my favorite foundation. And I've been just kind of neglecting it this whole year because I've been experimenting with so many others. So this goes on like silk. I mean, this is totally worth it. Yes, it's expensive. I know that. I didn't want to buy it when it was like $40 or $35 cheaper when I bought it like in 2016, but it's so beautiful. You feel so confident with your skin. It's not heavy. It's just so beautiful. It's literally like you're not wearing anything. It makes your skin just look gorgeous. So you can add on, sometimes I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me add just a tad more on the areas like maybe that I feel just in this area and you can build it. It is buildable. 
La Mer foundation is on feeling good. It smells incredible too. It has a miracle broth in it, so it's good for your skin. I'm gonna go into the Chanel. This is their um, bronzer. It's a solid bronzer that I got um, I think in 2020 I bought this and I'm going to use just an angled brush. Hourglass gave this to me and I'm going to just press this in and I'm going to sculpt a little bit. I find it to be easier to use the brush than to use my finger that I had been using before because I feel like I can really sculpt this area and it's really light. It's not like a heavy, they have, this is a universal. I got the tan bronze universal. They do have a darker color. So I just like to kind of give some color to my, my cheek area here and to the contouring, just right where your ear is, you come straight down. That's where your guideline is. So you can see it right like that. That's where you want to put it. So if you're not sure what's going on and you're like, I don't know how to contour my cheeks or I have a really round face. How do I do that? Really take your ear as your guide. The top of your ear goes straight down and that's where you should be putting your bronzer or experiment and see what it looks like. Does it look good? Or should you go a little bit higher? Just to, you have to visually look at your face. Don't let everybody on YouTube tell you what to do. You have to say, okay, those are the guidelines. What works for me? That really looks good. Or that doesn't look good. Don't just follow everybody else's formula. You have to understand your face shape and what you want to look like. Because again, you hold the power of your beauty and what you do. Not, not everybody on YouTube knows your face shape, your coloring, etc. Everybody can guide, but you need to really be in the driver's seat. I'm gonna just take my palette Ageless. I have three different blushes here that I can really mix and I can do one color, I can do all three. I like having an option of being able to just sweep across and then whatever color it, it turns out that day, it's perfect. So I don't want too much. These are highly pigmented, but I do want color in my face. I've been feeling like really washed out lately and it's not a good feeling. I just looked at myself when I was at the hairdresser and I was like, wait, <laughs> why do I look like my skin like has turned silver also? So adding color is really, really important to keeping that healthy look, that vibrant look. You don't want to, like my mom says, look beige. And she was like, I only see nostrils and my eyes when I look into the mirror. That's when you know, ladies, you need to add color, you need to add a lip, you need to do something that's going to make you feel and look alive, healthy, fresh. Like you're here to stay, you're here to play, you're here to have fun with your makeup. So let's do our lips. We're gonna do our Cameo Lip Liner. This is my favorite. It's just really a natural lip. And I'm thinking, you know what, I was going to use the Chanel um, Mademoiselle. This is, I'm thinking though, now that I just said beige and I'm like not having color, this is not gonna be the right one. This is like too dark. For some reason I thought it was lighter. I think we're gonna go into a nice like pinky. So let's just line our lips. Lip liner is on, looking beautiful. This is really my go-to. It's just cameo. It looks like my lip color. I can just go a little bit more above the lip so I connect my cupid's bow like I did in that video, which I'll link here so you know how to just get a powdier lip. I'm not going outside the lip vermilion. It's very simple. It's a really nice trick. I think I wanna do pretty smart. This is so beautiful. And guess what I'm gonna top it with? I always have to have a topper. I'm going to top it with my Melted Honey from Chanel. It's a gold and it just adds like this extra, like it doesn't go on like really gold. It's just beautiful. Lipstick is on then just, this is high gloss lipstick, so I don't need too much, but I'm gonna go in with my Chanel and I'm gonna just give that gold kind of just like extra, it's like, a little champagne toast like my Shams, but this is going to be a gold kind of infusion into your lip color. Then I think that we're gonna just do a little setting spray. This is my Clarins. It's a fix makeup. This is something that I've been using just to give me a little hydration, a little long lasting makeup. And then of course, you know, it's a special occasion. So I'm going to be putting the Baccarat Rouge 540 hair mist in my hair because, you know, I didn't want to spend all that money on that perfume. It's like so expensive, but I get the same, same whole vibe, but for $85 with the hair mist. I am such a hair mist lover. I wasn't sure if I was going to do that or the rose, but I thought, you know what? 
I haven't used my Baccarat for a long time, so I'm going to do that. And you are going to be ready, ladies, to conquer 2023. Really just get into your makeup, look at all the videos we did this year, and just really just learn your craft when it comes to makeup. Pick up that makeup brush kit. Pick up that eyeshadow palette that you've been look, looking at and kind of curious about. The whole purpose is really my channel so much more than makeup. It's about mental health. It's about feeling confident. It's about getting off the couch and doing something, doing something for yourself and not sitting there thinking, oh, you know, it's too late. I'm 75 or, you know, I, I just don't feel like it anymore because of X, Y, and Z. No, infuse yourself with positivity, with the beauty that you have and to share with the world. You're keeping such great talent and such great gifts when you're just kind of keeping it to yourself and you're not sharing it with the world. This is a really important aspect of the channel to expose you to makeup and skincare, yes. And if you feel like you wanna purchase certain things because you have the education, great. But it's really about digging deep inside, finding out who you are, and maybe you lost yourself and now you're finding yourself again. And we're going into a new year and a new year for new beginnings, new outlook on yourself, a new fitness schedule. And it's not about goals and about resolutions. It's about intention. What is your intention for 2023? What are you going to do? And don't put these rigorous like goals and resolutions and then you don't make it and then you feel bad and it's this bad cycle. You have an intention to do whatever it is. So plan it that way. Look at your goals, make the vision board. And ladies, I'm so excited to see you in 2023. We have so many exciting things coming up. Make sure you're on the newsletter and happy new year. Until my next video, I'll see you later.